Uh-oh. Um... Oh, <laughs> there's a flood? <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> this isn't good for any of us. <laughs> this is actually really bad for all of us. Guess I got what I deserve. Down, 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 down. Kept you waiting there too long, my love. Down, 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 down. All that time without a word. Da da. Didn't know you think that I'd forget. Or I'd regret The special love I had for you My baby blue boom down boom wait oh wait wait Uh oh we're on Oh <laughs> sorry guys I didn't see you there. So welcome home to another Beast of Bermuda episode, or, you know, if you can even call this game home. As you can see, I have uh, four dinosaurs here, five counting this poor soul down here. For context, this little guy down here, yeah, 1.2 Megaraptor, died in about five hits to a couple Pteranodons. Like, you know, the bird Pteranodon. So... Take that as you will. Now I'm just wondering who we should pick. I've done Lurdosaurus, I've done Megaraptor, I have done Ichthy, haven't I? Yeah, I did do Ichthy one time for a little bit. So, you know what? I feel like we should start as our T-Rex. I don't think I've ever played T-Rex. You may start close to other big players. You know, that's a risk I'm willing to take just for the content. Oh, that's right. I logged out on this rock. Okay. Uh, yeah, when I was growing this guy, this giant green camo rex just appeared out of nowhere and scared the life out of me. But thankfully, he was a pretty nice guy. And then we just chilled on that rock up there until I got bored and logged out. Oh, we got some dandelions here, though. Last ones of the season. Certainly tastes better than pine cones. Like this video and subscribe if you understand that reference. Let's see, I could use some water right now, and we've got water right in here. That's nice. I really wish you could see it a lot better, but, uh, this skin is, like, it's okay. It's inoffensive, I suppose. Uh, it's, like, gray with white stripes, and then it's got, like, a brew- brew? Blue keratin, like, crest, you know, ornaments on his face. I liked it at first, but, you know, I don't really care for it as time went on. I don't know, it just looks a bit plain, in my opinion. I feel like I could have gone for something a little more natural looking. But, you know, not that gray and white aren't natural but i don't know so i kind of did like a balanced build i went for maximum survival build just to be a tank in battle uh, i got plus one in constitution which is pretty good which increases my max health there's a bird around here i i do not trust birds in this game you know me i i do not like the pterosaurs in this game they they're murderers my mega raptor died in like five hits to them as i said like two minutes ago so you know, I mean, I have 2,600 health, but even so, never, ever, 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 ever trust Beast of Bermuda. Not with your life. Like, if Beast of Bermuda was a person, they'd be the guy to swear on a Bible and then lie anyway. Or, you know, maybe a Torah or a Quran or any holy book of your choice. The point is, you can't trust this game. What the? What are you? I just saw a little thing bounce down there. I think it was holding a trinket from the trial. Oh, it's a Velo. <laughs> yeah, he probably wants his growth boost. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The um, the trials are super helpful. And uh, if you know the uh, locations of the shrines for the trials on this map, specifically in this area where I am right now, uh, which is Spiral Island, you can just get the 50% growth boost so easily. <laughs> it's kind of... It's kind of cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. But please don't change it, devs. It's very helpful for making content. But anyway, my build. So yeah, I just went for mostly a tank build. I heal well, I have a lot of health. Uh, I have two out of three in all of my uh, little combat thingies, mostly. And then I went for one out of three in my 
speed. I only went for one out of three bruiser too, because I mean, I'm Rex for God's sake. Like, y you don't want to like be too overkill with the injury damage because there comes a certain point where it's just, you know, as I said, overkill. You know, I was expecting to find more people around here though. I will say, usually Spiral Island has a ton of people. It's pretty dangerous. It's, it's a good place to grow, but it's dangerous. Um, oh, here's the survival shrine. Um, what's our growth? 1.435. You know what? Should we boost our growth? I say we do it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll take the trinket. There we go. We have the little orb in our mouth, as you can see. And we are going to bring it to the speed shrine, and that will give us our 50% growth boost so we can become even bigger. God, we are so loud, though. Do you hear that stomping? Once I get my next talent point, I might just get Aqua Affinity and, you know, sneaky. Oh, yeah, I inherited Exhausting Bite, too. That's actually huge as T-Rex. Drains someone's stamina when you bite them. Essentially acts like Serato's Roar ability in Primal Carnage. God, listen to us. We're s so loud. Was that another T-Rex? I certainly hope it wasn't, but with my luck, it probably was. If we don't encounter anyone at Spiral Island, I'm probably going to go through that portal right there. Because I think that leads to the mainland and the salt marsh, I believe. There we go. There's the speed shrine. It's not even that far. I mean, it feels far because, you know, I'm a fat T-Rex and there's something up here. I just heard it roar. Uh, blessing. Yes. There we go. All right. We now grow faster. Uh, on the downside, though, our hunger is going to drain a lot faster, which shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Just, you know, assuming we can find some sort of food. What is that? Oh, there's things down here. That's a Pteranodon with a Tropio. What are they doing? Are they attacking like a big thing? Oh, it's an Apato. Are they trying to hunt an Apato? They, they're... We got birds hunting an Apatosaurus. A young one. I'm recording. You wait for take a gore. Rules respect. Are they talking to me? Do they think I'm waiting here for the Apato to die? Because, like... I might. God, you don't hunt dinosaurs as pterosaurs. It's so stupid. <laughs> Let me go down here and get a better view. I don't think they're gonna touch me. Because, like, you know, I'm not really interested in fighting them either. Maybe I'm overestimating them, though. Especially with my tanky-as-hell Rex. Poor Apato, man. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. I don't think I'm allowed to help him. Which, you know, I do kind of want to see how this plays out, to be fair. That was a late reaction, buddy. That was also a late reaction. Th this is literally just what happened to my Mega Raptor the other day, except it was not as, you know, prolonged. Is he, like, following me for protection? If kill him, kill him, kick his ass! How is he not crippled? Like, he just got tail whipped by an Apatosaurus. It doesn't matter if it's a young Apato or what. You're a bird that just got cracked with a giant tail. It's going like the speed of sound. Every bone in your body should be broken. Your ribs should be impaling your lungs. This is just really hard to watch. This is just brutal. I really hope he gets away. If I can, I might actually do a little bit of trolling here. I might do a little bit of rule breaking. See, I've been chill this whole time, so they won't expect it if I... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Deserved! <laughs> oh, don't worry, Apato, I've got your back. <laughs> you see, if I was lawful good, I wouldn't have done that, but I prefer to see myself as chaotic good on the alignment chart. We needed the food anyway, so, you know. Is he angry? He's probably recording me. What the fuck? You can't kill Stoopy- <laughs> Stoopy Rex! <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? We're, 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 this Rex's name is Stoopy Rex. Dumb bitch. <laughs> oh my god. They're angry. They are so angry. Literally, certified bird player moment. You can't make it up. The adventures of Stoopy Rex. The dumb bitch.
<laughs> saving child dinosaurs from predator birds. I mean, these are Beast of Bermuda players, so who knows? Maybe they're predators in more ways than one. Hey. <laughs> it's a little Mega Raptor. Hey, pal. Does he want food? What? Wait. Why is he being mean? I mean, you you could take this. <laughs> he just wanted the food. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what a funny guy. He was giving me a real attitude, you know? But, you know, I like Mega Raptor. He's a very cool dinosaur, so... One of my favorites, actually. He's just been climbing the ranks of my favorite dinosaurs. Oh. Hey, bud. I'm not gonna kill you. He's just a child. Yeah, that, that's not even a fun hunt. Well, look at us hitting 1.5. This is, I think, the biggest I've ever been in Beast of Bermuda, period. And of course it's on Rex, the most powerful thing in the game. And like, it's not even close. Rex just destroys everything after a certain point. Even like a Pados. The next day. Portal travel? That's... That is a Beast of Bermuda moment, you know that? What the hell was that? Was that a Chronosaurus? Because that sounded like a water noise. Like, it was like a... It sounded like a whale. No, no, that's that's a land creature. I still don't know the roars in this game. Oh, it's a parrot. Oh, it's got the winter skin. Yeah, I actually have that. And, you know, I don't have a parrot, but... Oh, it sees me. That's nice. <sighs> Whatever. And now, now s I have to sit here for, like, ever with myself highlighted. Oh, there's a herd here. Jesus, Lord, it's so loud. Everything is just loud right now. <laughs> Hang on. They are all so angry at me for just existing. But, you know, if that guy hadn't highlighted me, I probably would have reconsidered. But I am going to fight these guys now. Oh, they've got a Sychania. That's nice. Dude, you already see me. You don't gotta highlight me again. It's like a carnivore just exists and the herbivore players just go crazy. Oh yeah, that's a little holiday Paris skin back there. It's got like the saddle and everything. You know, I could just show a huge sign of aggression right now and just crouch right in front of them because, you know, that means I'm charging up my ambush. I just don't know how strong this Coelaceratops is. Oh, he's a full combat. I should probably avoid him. Yeah, I'm bigger than these little size, that's for sure. Oh, there's a baby Coela. <laughs> I don't know if I want to kill that, though. I should definitely go for one of the paras. No, oh, I'm nervous, though. I've never really, like, fought that much in this game. I usually just avoid everything because I never know anything stats. Like, is the Apato too big for me? I don't really know. I feel like the Apato is just a bad idea because, you know, it can take so many hits. Just gonna circle. They're probably not going to attack until I do, so that's my one advantage here. I get it. I get it, Apato. Ah, what the hell? Is that an or- That was the Ori sand attack, wasn't it? Let's see what happens here. What? Really? <laughs> the freaking Ori just nipped me. How much damage did it do? It did like- Jesus, it did a lot. I guess I'll just stick around, wait for the right moment. That's a speed para, so I would easily kill that little one if I bit him. All I really gotta do is, like, run in and get one bite. I just am worried about the injury damage here. I really feel like I'm underestimating myself, though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, let me know in the comments, am I underestimating myself as a 1.54 Rex? I really feel like I am. But then again, I don't know how big this Coela is. This Coela is brave as hell. He- I think he knows. Okay, can I sniff you? Is it gonna give you me any facts about you? Cataclysmic and vicious. That's a little scary. Oh, they're scaring away a Mega Raptor over there. This could be a good chance. Ori, you wouldn't. That's nice. Why is that sand attack so good? This is such a weird standoff. <laughs> It really is. I mean, the good thing is these little guys literally just can't catch me. There's another herd over there. Wait, no, that's not a herd. That's a bunch of mega raptors with him, with uh, an apato. Oh, there's a little Coela here. <laughs> just neon. <laughs> I don't want to kill that. <laughs> that means literally nothing. It's so small. This is getting kind of dangerous. Yeah, this is getting a little bit dangerous, actually. I'll just speed up a little bit. 
Why are they all charging like this? So aggressive. Jeez. Oh, come on. Stupid ass Ori, I swear to God. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep giving them confidence. Ori, you wouldn't. See, he wasn't even touching my face there. Use your shield again. Use your shield again. Crippled him. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> Literally just build up their confidence. <laughs> and then you destroy them in three clicks. God, the power went on a suicide mission. <laughs> he was like, get down, Mr. President. <laughs> this is Obama, get down! That Cychania must have been like his friend or something. I could tell I was making that Cychania nervous though. I think I was underestimating myself there. I mean, I definitely was. I'm 1.567 and I've got all these buffs and I've also got two talent points now so I should put them into something. I feel like this is the most action I've ever had in a Beast of Bermuda video. It's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, also, uh, we can see my skin now in daylight. I mean, you've, you saw it during that entire fight, but you know, now we can really see it. I think you can see why I'm not like a huge fan of it. It looks a little worse than I thought it would, to be honest. But, you know, it's not a bad skin by any means. I mean, especially by Beast of Mimina standards. Yeah, I have noticed that though, that like a lot of herbivores like to relax around this portal here. It makes going through the portal kind of scary, I gotta say. So before recording this, I was just on YouTube, you know? And uh, I wanted to hear the Giganotosaurus roars from uh, Jurassic World Dominion. So, you know, I looked it up, listened to it. Pretty good roars, pretty solid, I love them. Uh, but, you know, obviously YouTube's a rabbit hole, so that got me into the rabbit hole of, you know, re-watching the uh, Jurassic World Dominion ending fight. And I know I've gone on record saying it before, but wow. It's such a bad fight. The camera work is horrendous, let me tell you. There's just stuff blocking the dinosaurs at every possible moment, and then just Ugh. I actually felt kind of nauseous when the Giga died. It was like, you know, it's playing all that triumphant music like you're supposed to be cheering like, hooray, the T-Rex beat the bad dinosaur. No. <laughs> no, it is not a happy occasion at all. <laughs> if anything, the T-Rex was the villain there. He was the one preventing the characters from getting to the chopper. The Giga actually was the one that allowed them to live and escape. Uh, you know, I digress. That's just a rant that I want to get off my chest again. Oh, our buff from the shrine is just about to wear off. Yeah, wow, that carried us from like 1.4 to almost 1.6. That's insane. Honestly, I'm considering going back and just, you know, oh, he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? He, he's trying. He, he's trying his best. He must be bugged or something. He, he's really trying. Something else just came through this portal. It's a smaller Rex. Or maybe he's about the same size as me. No, I think he's smaller than me. I'm not gonna hurt him. Actually, he could be a helpful ally. Are you friendly? I didn't like the way he ran at me right there. I'm ready in case he attacks. I, I guess he's chill. He probably just doesn't want to group. That's fine. I'll continue being a solo hunter. I need the practice, honestly. I think he trusted me just about as much as I trusted him. Not at all. Anyway, let's catch up with this herd that went this way. Um, yeah. I sniff them. Also, I should probably put... Ugh, do I really need Sneaky, though? I feel like I don't need Sneaky. Unbreakable might be important. I mean, I have one inherit of that. Maybe sure-footed and strong legs actually. Heavy? Nimble-footed? I don't know. I'll just save those two points for now. 
Because I'm not quite sure what I want to put them into. Oh. There's two Megalos back there. I should keep an eye on those two. Megalos are pretty tricky in this game. Granted, if I get a single bite on them, they're essentially down for the count. But, you know, even so, they'll probably have the I'm sure to win because my speed is superior mentality. Yeah, I think they've noticed me. But, you know, that's fine. I'm a big target anyway, so it was kind of inevitable. Plus, we're in an open field. I'll just approach slowly. Yeah, I know, Para, you see me. Warning, guys, warning, there's a mean carnivore coming. Like, my brother in Christ, I have to eat too, you know? Uh, whoa, that's a big Para. That's a little bit scary, actually. <laughs> that is a big, big Para. Yeah, it said he was devastating, so he's got to be in the gauntlet for sure. Um, are you devastating? You're devastating as well. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. He just logged out. That's nice. Alright, so what's my game plan here? I don't know why I'm asking you. The Paras actually seem kind of scared. That's that's a good thing, actually. No, no, no. You're not doing that, Apato. I'm spacing myself properly. Don't you worry. Did he not go for, like, attack branch? The Koa? Because if he didn't, I might have a shot. And all of his friends seem to be leaving him. So, except for the Apato, but, you know, I can weave around that, even though I'm big and fat. He's bigger and fatter. Like, you know, I'm Peter Griffin, but he's Fat Albert. No, we'll make this a little bit cinematic. I'll roar for him. There we go. Yeah, that set him off. <laughs> Just that Apato that's scaring me. He's, like, standing with all of his buddies. I, I think they are scared of me. Otherwise, they wouldn't be sticking so close to the Apato. It's just mainly the Coila. I don't know how that, like... How dangerous that's gonna be. Those Paras screwed off. They want nothing to do with this. <laughs> so, that shows that they weren't confident in fighting me, which is good. Hunts in this game are weird. Either that, or I'm just not being bold enough again. Which, you know, if this Apato wasn't here, I wouldn't be as worried. But, you know, uh, don't, don't, don't do it. That's a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, fantastic, it's rainy. Do I have weather resistance? resistance? I have, like, one in weather resistance, right? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Time is of the essence. Uh, also, am I being intimed? No, I'm not. Alright. Should we do it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't like those horns. Uh, I should not charge up the ambush, actually. I'll fake it, though. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. I need to do something right now. I need to do this, like, right now. There we go. Okay. I had to upgrade that because the storm is intense. <laughs> you saw the little icon there, I'm sure. Alright, so weather just doesn't bother us anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, if this is way too tense and frustrating, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, back up from that. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, there's a flood? Oh no. Oh no. This isn't good for any of us. This is actually really bad for all of us. Yeah, they know. They know this could actually be my chance. This is totally my chance. This is so my chance. This is so my chance, dude. Oh, they're brave. They're brave. Alright, I'm gonna cross. I'm crossing, I'm crossing. No bad guys, please. No bad guys. By that, I mean Moses. Okay. I think we're good. The longer I let this go on, the more I'm letting my nerves catch up to me, man. It's not good. And also, aren't those other paras up here, or are they long gone? They might be long gone. Maybe if I can get ahead of them, actually. Okay, this is good. Leave the Apato behind. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Uh-oh. This is actually really bad. I'm out of stamina. Go, go, down the hill. <sighs> I got a little too ballsy there. That was a little too ballsy of me. I really don't like this Apato. It's annoying too because his skin's nice. Alright, this is fine. I'll, I'll retreat for now. You wouldn't come for me, Mr. T-Wex. I'm such a flat whittle disc. <laughs> Maybe I should go for the Titania now after that one. That was just cringe. Are they still coming my way? Because 
they might be going back, like, you know, around that way. But it seems like they still want to go this way. So I could literally just wait here. I mean, granted, I'm highlighted, so I'll have to wait a moment to get out of sight. Oh. Well, those, the Megalos are here. Uh, no, those aren't Megalos. Those are Ichthyos. Three Ichthyos make that. Because the Cychania's in the back there. I could literally take out this little Pato right here. I don't know if I want to, though. I really want to get the Koa. Wait. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Oh god. Come on, fight. Just keep fighting. Wow. <laughs> How didn't he see that coming? How did he not see that coming? He was distracted with the Ichthys. And he just wasn't paying attention. Four hits. Four hits and he's gone. Oh my god, guys. Rex is something else. That wasn't even a fight. That was just a massacre. This is a great way to end the video. For once, I actually had some success in this game. You know, like, well, real success, not just surviving and getting by. Like when I played Lurdu and when I played Ichthy, it was just kind of getting by, you know? Because like, I wasn't, I wasn't dying, but I wasn't killing anything either. But now, my skill level in this game is just off the charts. I'm so good. Or maybe it's that I'm playing Rex, but I'll let you decide.